Hi guys, welcome back to episode 4 of our Parthia campaign in Total War Rome Remastered. Now as you can see, things have been going pretty well, pretty nicely. Um, we've taken a few of these large towns, we've destroyed Armenia. Um, last time we took Catias, we forged on forward down towards the Scythians, and we fought the Seleucids in a couple of battles. Now, the horse archers are doing pretty well. It's pretty nice. It's pretty good. Um, so, yeah. So, we're just going to keep on doing that. I don't think there's anything left to do this turn. Unless Antioch is ready to be sieged. No, it's not. Uh, so, let's end the turn and see whether we get attacked by anyone. Now, we need to keep our productivity up. We Our productivity has been a bit a little low because we've been low on money. Um, so, I think we're going to start prioritizing that. Our military is getting reasonably reasonably strong not hugely strong and i think as soon as egypt declares war on us that will be another question because of all those chariots that they have um, which are just really annoying to deal with especially the morale impact of them on a, on for example our low morale horse archers will be pretty bad i think so yeah so when we start going to war with egypt we're going to start have to recruit uh, persian cavalry i think uh, we're the most advanced faction right now, apparently. <laughs> okay, Julii and Carthage have declared war on each other. Uh, a candidate for adoption. Uh, who are you being adopted by? Admonash. Admonish. Uh, yeah, so you will go here. Uh, unless I take this guy out. So now you'll go to the capital. Uh, no, you didn't. Okay. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's because they've changed that then. Because before it used to be only if you're in a city they would get adopted there. Unless I'm unless I'm wrong about that. I, I don't think I am though. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, you to get in there. Got my diplomat down here. I don't know. Uh, go after Pontus. Yeah, cool. So let's. We have 5,000, so let's hope that we can build everywhere. I doubt we will be able to, seeing there's not many places are building. Uh, Campus Sakai, what do we want then? Could upgrade the port, I don't think that'll make much money. Um, they're reasonably happy. I bet. You look at that. We're losing 500 here due to corruption, so. I think the execution square is most likely the best option, unless. So it, it reduces it a lot less, however it's a lot cheaper. So let's go with that. Um, Arsakia obviously is our capital. Um, let's go with... Hmm. Let's go with market. Mark it because it allows us to build a lot of other things. And it's quite cheap. So that's probably the best option. Town. Let's get that population growth up. Hatra. Let's do the same. And Catias. Let's also get the trader. Um, and what how are we doing here? We should. Got so many generals here. Um, we're going to get Dadashi... Probably go with Admonish getting. Hmm. Let's go with these three and we'll build a new army for Admonish. Or we could send him down here to get a new army. Uh, no, let's just let's just keep on going with all of these guys. How angry is Katias now if we leave it? Not bad actually. Not too bad. Yeah, ninety-nine percent. Now, in terms of the uh, population growth and everywhere else, yeah, we've got... This is why they're upset. High tax at Frasper. Let's just reduce the tax down in a lot of places because... Yeah, low there. Um, we're doing okay for money. We want the population growth to come through now, so... Let's go build a watchtower over here. Yeah, doesn't look like there's any Seleucids in the area. So let's get down towards Antioch. 
Uh, retrain you. Recruit peasant to keep everything happy in Katias. Now, what do we do? Could get on a ship and go to Tanaeus. But I think Pontus will become a bigger threat, honestly. So, let's get going towards Pontus. Yeah, cool. Artaxata, Fraspa, Asakia. Awesome. I haven't got any random horse archers left in any of these places, have I? No, that's good. Right, so let's, uh, let's be a bit slower here because I actually don't know where the city is. Looks like they built roads, so it will show us where it is. Uh, there's roads going up there, and I'm guessing the only place up there that's... That's got to be a town, hasn't it? I, I really don't know. Um, yeah, cool. So we're doing well. Right, so let us... Right, so I've just noticed this guy. We need to put him down to Arsakia. Put a, that other rebel did disappear, unless they joined together. That's quite a big stack. I want to put it down. Hmm. I don't think if I put it there, it'll move. I think we do need to put it there. It's not going to be able to see anything as a watchtower, but we need to try it. Oh, are we building everywhere? Brilliant. Productivity's back up. Now we can consider whether we want to recruit any more troops. Obviously we're recruiting peasants there. I think here would be good. It's only hillmen. Yeah, it's going to take too long for them to get there. Um, if we could recruit... Hmm. Let's go with one at Artaxata. This guy's on his way. Right. Let's get this battle done. Luckily... Again, the Seleucids have been dumb and not decided to attack us, <laughs> which would probably be their only hope, honestly. Even though it's a bridge battle, we, we, we would destroy them anyway, but they haven't brought those troops in support that are outside the city, which is kind of strange. I don't know why they wouldn't, <laughs> but, you know, AI's going to AI even on, a, even on very hard, so... We did not seek more. We are lovers of peace and prosperity. But now we are facing a battle. We will not stop until our foes lie dead on the field. Cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, best way to get in. I mean, this is just a straight run for the town center which is okay um yeah, we might go we might do both it is only two units but as as before we can't really afford to just be running these guys around in the city because uh they'll probably uh die <laughs> they'll probably start routing um Yeah, they're just going to stand in the middle. Um, we are going to get shot by that. Which is not ideal. If we go here, we should hopefully be able to get in without getting shot. You need to get onto that gate. Right, let's uh, speed it up. Oh, they did come! I didn't see that they were coming. What are they? <laughs> Are they horse archers? I oh, know they're militia cavalry. Um, you know, we can destroy them. Let's go destroy them before they prove too too dangerous. I think they're going to come and fight us. You go there. You go here. They're not going to charge out of the city. That's not what the AI. The AI in this game is not going to be that. That ruthless. We can skirmish as well, so you know, if you wanna, if you wanna mess around with that, we can do it as well as you. 
Um, if they're gonna they're gonna fire at the slingers, that's actually better for us. <laughs> Good thing here is when they break, we can absolutely destroy them. Now comes the test of their courage. We should we should catch them on this charge. Yeah, they're broken already. Uh, don't worry about that. Let's just charge. Kill them all. And we can probably get in the city now. Enemy general shows his value. He is filled only by a desire to save his own skin. Get in there while they're routing. Enemy cowards run! Okay, run looks like we can't. Um, get on the get on the ram again. You get there. You get there. Get, get, go, 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 go. Yes, 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 yes. We've got him. Good. We didn't even need to batten those ones down. Uh, you get in here. You're the, yeah. You're the most important unit to get in, honestly. Slingers, you can go there. Not really bothered about you. They should start breaking. They should break as soon as they see the amount of troops. Yeah, there we are. Okay, these slingers all alone. <laughs> Look, it looks like the uh, the towers were firing on the ram rather than the slingers, which for us is brilliant. Problem is, they are isolated. Like, if their general wanted to attack these guys, can we get rid what are you doing? Get rid of the ram. Yeah, like if the general wanted to charge these guys, he could very easily. Uh, you guys can go back to fire at will now. Um, I honestly really want to fire at the general, so he might run through this way. Try and distract him. Getting shot by something. Oh no, everyone come everyone come here. And we'll just have you just charging these guys down. Uh, I want you to come and fire at the phalanx. Um Yeah, okay. Another battle that's going okay, I would say. Not gonna like the fact that he's getting shot at now. That's one, that's the captain. We will see the measure of his soldier's courage. He hasn't got an Eastern General, so he doesn't have thingies, uh, javelins. However, oh no. General. He's got a lot more troops. Uh, we'll get these guys out here if we can. General. Get the General over here. These guys, honestly, probably keep him in the city, like go over there. You get that way. You guys get out of there. Oh, that's going to be tough. You guys, yeah, yeah, they're, they're routing. Um, Alright, now that general's run away, let's go. Get out, get out, get out, get out. You have no javelins left, I don't think. How many is left of them? Nine versus our 14. Keep going, keep going. I should not have been double clicking that. Just clicking it once. Now the funny thing is... Like, we're going to have the town square. <laughs> but these phalanxes are going to be there as well still. Um... So we're gonna to have to maneuver around the town square like it's <laughs> like it's an open battlefield, which will be uh, fun. Uh, I just want these guys to delay them. Like the slingers really don't matter. So I want you to get into the middle, and I want you like these slingers to start t to basically just delay them. Probably get you a bit fatter so you don't break instantly. Actually, no, just just fire at these guys. 
Which you should get one volley off, I think. Just fire now. You're not even going to get one volley off, are you? Oh, the phalanxes, the phalanxes. Get out, get out, get out. Get out. I do not want them to be forming a phalanx on us here. How many have they got left? I think I could I could reasonably could probably beat them if I get the charge off, so let's try it. They're too bothered about charging down the phalanx. Charging down the slingers, which is kinda crazy of them. See whether I can get that charge off. You to come around here. How are we looking on this? Oh, we did get a charge. Did we kill any of them instantly, though? Yeah, we did. Good. Charge that guy down just because it'll be harder to deal with if he's. Oh. Nope. Shoot it. Didn't even that that unit might get put into the other one. Hmm, not gone. Yeah, didn't go as well as I wanted, really. Like they inflicted like a hundred casualties, but 120 it looks like with friendly fire. Um, but it's fine. We still got the we still got Antioch. We destroyed two armies. Um, so, you know, we've done alright. Two small armies, but our army going this far is quite small. So we need that other general to catch up with us. I'm guessing Antioch is a... Uh, hmm. Guessing it's a city. Minor city, yep, good. Now, we should just start moving. Once we've got like a good amount of settlements out this way, we will probably move the capital to Antioch. We'll basically become the new uh, the new Seleucids. Um, but, yeah. You. Hmm. I'm not sure there's any point in having generals with the Parthian guys anyway, governing towns. Because their generals are so good. Um, and they basically are our melee cavalry, so yeah. Let's let's just keep them on the move, fighting battles. Yeah, look at those slingers. Only two of them left. Okay, uh, let's see whether we can maybe. Yes, brilliant. I was just wondering whether any of them would give two experience, but it doesn't look like it. Um, and while we're here, let's just train a peasant, honestly. Just to keep it uh, under control. They are moving that out. I wonder how... I wish if you just right-clicked on that, it would show you the diplomatic standing of them. Uh, so, the Seleucids are, allied, are just trading with Egypt and Pontus. They're only at war with us. Interesting that Egypt hasn't jumped on them yet. Babajin's got a galloper. Ooh, Asakia is growing. I'll have to build that next turn. We will slot it in front, but for the time being, uh, looks like we're just going to have to end the turn. Okay, the Seleucids aren't happy about this. <laughs> They've got two large armies on the way. Hopefully just armies of trash. Looking like it, they do look like they are just armies of trash. But we might take... Um, I'm going to say we might take a defensive approach to this, but... We might. Um, but first and foremost, let's keep on recruiting horse archers. That's the first thing we need to do there, is recruit horse archers. Uh, if we could recruit them nearby, we would recruit more. Agent found, Seleucia. That's fine. Is that why they keep going after Seleucid? Because they know there's no troops in there? Maybe. Okay, Carthage is at war with everyone. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, we... Yeah, we recruited a lot. Ah, uh, that was just retraining. Yeah, that's... Is it... 
Is here? That is retraining, isn't it? But it's it doesn't say. Oh, Frasper's upgraded. Awesome. Frasper's a large town now. So, hmm, how much would this build? 44, that's okay. Not as good as uh, that, though. That's only 600. Yeah, it's because, obviously, there's only like three or four ports in this whole sea. So, it's not exactly brilliant. Whereas this, you can trade with anyone out in the Mediterranean, even all the way to Brit the Bretons. Um, Seleucia, let's have a look. What do we want to do here? Probably communal farming again. How much corruption? 63 is not bad. Wow, that's a lot of devastation. Um, where are the rebels around here? I don't see them. Maybe there's an enemy army. Maybe there's that Seleucid army around here somewhere. Hmm. I was going to say... Have got anywhere where we can recruit a merchant? Just, just to experiment with it, because I never really... Um, I've experimented with it before. I'm guessing not. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Um, Atuxata. Nice little towns these as well. Because you get them... Like, they're not huge. But you get them... You know, in a reasonable position. So that you can grow them yourself. And you can have all your own culture. All that sort of stuff. Um, I'm guessing the Zoroastro ones. Yeah, there we are. Lose that corruption. Keep them happy. Do with a spy over here. Could really do with a spy. Yeah, we're just going to keep recruiting that. Oh, did we forget to build an Antioch? Whoops. That is my fault. Um, let's start getting Persian cavalry here in Antioch. Wait, we do have elephants in Antioch. So why can we not build elephants? With that, do you have to go to the next one? Um, yeah, and then you get the. Do we only get one? I thought we got armored elephants. Have they changed that? Because I swear you get normal elephants and war elephants and then armored elephants as well. Um, they allow slingers, which you could retrain the slingers, but honestly. We're, we're fine with our horse archers for now anyway, so let's just go with the temples though, Astra. Keep them happy, because they don't look too happy, and we have a five influence guy in here already. Um, it just stopped recording again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's happened quite a bit. Um, it's because I'm playing on window, uh, windowed, and if I tab, if I accidentally press on another, um, another page, it will end it, so... Okay, there's Campus Samatai. Looks like it's pretty empty. What is it, though? A large town. I'm hoping they have a stables here, because we really, really could do. Oh, they have uh, headhunting maidens here as well. They're really good. They're a good unit. Um, pretty cheap, pretty nice, uh, pretty good. So, moving down towards Pontus... Staying in Antioch, moved there. Um, spy, let's go have a look down here. Yeah, that's what I thought. It is just trash, though. But then again, you know, this is not the strongest army. It's only got five units that are really worth it. Uh, that's another army. We have to just keep on recruiting there and hope that we can beat them. We can beat the hordes. Right, you... Let's build that watchtower. How much devastation have we got in Arsakia? 114. It's actually quite a lot. Let's get out of there now. Now you could do with building another army down here to go against Egypt. I don't think we're currently in the situation where we can afford to have huge one. Um... It would be nice to be able to build the Persian cavalry here, honestly. But that will be fine. We want to save a bit of money because it looks like a lot of buildings are getting uh, built next turn. So yeah, let's end the turn and see what happens. Okay, what are they trying to do? Are they trying to bribe? The oh, they want a ceasefire. 
Well, I'd be willing to accept that. They're not going to want to give away a region, I don't think. Yeah, very demanding. Palmyra, very much. You know, we can take money off them and then I'll just backstab them because I don't plan on having any allies this campaign. Like, the AI doesn't really understand allowances and stuff either. Um, alliances and stuff in this game. So, let's go to 20,000. Very demanding, really. We, like, look at, we are a lot stronger than you. How about 10,000? Very demanding still. Hmm. How about... Not 70,000. 7,000? Wow. Like, would, would 1,000 be very demanding as well? Like, do they just... Okay, that's generous. I don't think it's worth it at that point. It would get them out of our lands just for one turn. But then it kind of consolidates their own... Uh, Let us now talk reasonably. I'll take 2,500. Allows us to consolidate our forces down here. Oh, uh, so they just they just paid us to cease fire. And they're attacking us? Oh, or are they just getting in position? Wow. Wow. <laughs> well done. Well done, Seleucids. You just paid us to declare war on us, I guess. <laughs> I bet the Pontics hate us right now. We are just marching through their lands, not caring the world. It's going to be transgression, isn't it? No ceasefire? Uh, marriage celebrations, that's good. Oh, so he's got a wife now, so he should have kids. Good, very good. For, yep, we're creating more horse archers, as usual. Uh, right, let's build... Uh, Wow, a lot of places got built last turn, so let's make sure we get building everywhere. Go for... go. We could go for the cavalry stables up here and build another army to go to war with Egypt. It's four turns for that, though. But I think we'll only get the Persian archers from it. Um, you know what? Let's go for money. We're fine with our... Ah no, nah, nah, let's go. For, let's let's go for it. Let's start getting the Persian archers. They have less ammo, but they are better in every other way. Um, I wanted to build you here, didn't I? Right, let's. Yeah. If they declare war on us, we'll fight this. We'll fight this army. Should beat it. Unless they've got elephants, maybe maybe that would be bad. Um, looks like we have to build everywhere. Um, Camp of Sakai. Let's go with. Let's keep them happy. Go with the execution square. I know that sounds ironic. Uh, minus 77 for corruption. That's fine. That's good. Um, and there we go. Camp of Salani. They want to upgrade. Oh, Osakia wanted to upgrade, didn't it? Did we put that in? Oh, well, there's no. No rush now. <laughs> Hatra. Can't build. Katayas. Hmm. Go with the farming. Keep getting upgrading these settlements. And then Antioch. Now this is more important. Hmm. Yeah, we could do with upgrading the military buildings down here. So, let's just, we don't need to build that right now. We've got one turn left on the market, so, not Stonewall. Uh, let's go with the cavalry stables, then we can build another army down here. This guy is, you're on your way to Seleucia. Do we have enough to recruit two? Doesn't look like it. That's annoying, uh, but that's okay. We need to upgrade in Seleucia, we need to get... Blacksmith, yeah, and then, oh, and then we need the armor. Is you a city, Susa? Yeah. Okay, we could do with getting the blacksmith and then the armor in here. Do we already have the blacksmith? No, blacksmith, and then you can get the armor for minor city, so you can upgrade missile stuff. So yeah, Susa needs that, unless Saluki is gonna. Saluki is gonna upgrade soon, so. 
guess it's not a huge rush. Right, you've been done, so let's bring you down. Right, let's get this battle. Oh no, wait. Ah, uh, we have no infantry. How many turns left? Four turns. Wow. I thought we still had the... I left the peasants behind in here rather than recruiting new ones. Ah. Well, oh well, that's going, but we'll just have to siege it out. So it's very much looking like Saluki is going to attack us this turn. So let's see. No. Oh, wow. Who are they going to attack instead? Because I feel like attacking them again. Yeah, the, these two settlements are not hugely defended. Yeah, militia. Militia. It's just generals and militia. I think we want to kind of get to a full stack over here, though. If we can. Would like to be able to retrain these guys. Um, for the time being, while we, we don't need the... Um, well, we can't retrain the slingers. We'll recruit two hillmen to replace them. We'll also, once we can retrain them, we'll retrain them and we'll train a Persian cavalry sort of army over there. Um, that'll be good. Ceasefire between the Greeks and Carthage. It's fine. Yeah, the Seleucid Empire can keep spying on their namesake, but, you know, well, the namesake is Seleucos, but the city named after Seleucos, I guess. Oh, here we are. We can get a merchant. We can only get one. Let's get him and see what happens. Now we need to build that in Arsakia. Fraspa, I think we go for the port this time. And Artoxata. Hmm. Communal farming is probably the best option. Can't get merchant. Uh, we can't get. Uh, what do you call them? Mercenaries. Because we don't have a general. So. It's looking like we're going to have to siege this down for the whole uh, three more turns. Oh well, that's fine. Kind of. <laughs> My lead. My lead general. My. You're building that. Once you've built that, we will build... No, we we're going to build the blacksmith and stuff here, weren't we? That's seven turns, though. We can have a full army in that in that amount of time. Um, or six turns, sorry. But let's at least get the blacksmith. Yeah, cool. Everything's looking quite good. We've we kind of slowed down a bit, um, but we are going to be declaring war on Pontus now. I wonder what sort of armies they're fielding, because they have missile cavalry as well. I don't want to. I want to see whether they declare war on us first, just so that we can get a bit more money out of everyone in our diplomatic things, because our standing will be better, rather than attacking them. Will it though? I don't know. They kind of need to tell us what the <laughs> what causes your standing to go down and stuff, because I don't really ever see it uh, have an impact, really. Right. I think they'll stand and fight if we fight that. They're light. They're the light cavalry. They're fast moving. Missile attack seven. Our missile attack's better, and ours is uh, arrows. So they are terrible. Hmm, yeah, I could do with this army coming down. Boom, boom, taking them as this army goes and attacks um, these huge stacks of trash. Yeah, they're not particularly worrying. They're just grinding those battles when you've just got loads of them. Wait, we're at war with Egypt. What do they do? Okay, cheers Egypt. Let's go have a see whether they've got any big armies coming through. They just decided to blockade the port. <laughs> Construction, Seleucia. Being at war with Egypt doesn't change a huge amount. We still need to recruit an army here. Uh, we're going to go for the blacksmith in Seleucia. Um, and Campus Alani, we have now built that. Let's While we have extra bit of cash, let's build the mine. Get extra money. 
You are not standing on that watchtower. Oh well. Um, right then. Let's go do this battle. Wow. Well, at least we have someone we can assault. Um, yeah, that's not a huge concern, even though it is a siege battle. Which, uh, it's just so annoying to do siege battles with the horse archer armies. Uh, but yeah. Retain the siege. You need to get there. We need a spy up this end as well, which we don't have. Right, while Seleucia seems to be running away, let's go strike at Egypt because they decided to attack us. They're going to run. And they just have... All their infantry at the start of the game is pure trash, but the, cav uh, the chariots are just annoying to deal with. We need a watchtower around here as well. Get in there. Actually, build that. Do with one like over here so I can actually see this region or, or next to the hanging gardens. Keep recruiting. Yeah, we're starting to we're starting to accumulate money, so that's good. Uh, Captain Ares. Oh yeah, you yeah, he's not inactive. He's sieging. That's not an inactivity. Where's uh, what's the it called here? Mazaka. It's Mazaka. Let's go find Mazaka. Not a battle for a little while. It seemed to be a bit of a consolidation. Oh, Antioch. I don't know what it is, but it seems sort of every time I leave a settlement, I always forget about that. The public order in the remaster, not the, not the original. I think it's because when you're zoomed out this far, which I'm zoomed out quite far most of the time, it doesn't show you the faces. I wish they would show you the faces the whole time. Get in there. Right, you are going to retreat next to the thing, right? No. I can't see. Um, right, oh well, you can siege down this. Cool. Yep, maintain. I keep forgetting <laughs> about that button as well. Oh, brilliant. Town expands Hatra. Oh, great. can now actually get some okay buildings in there. Oh, they did damage the shrine to Zoroaster in Antioch. But, uh, we should also retrain these guys. Now, we have Hillman. How many more troops do you need? You're going to have 13 with the extra hillmen. So you need 7 more of these guys. So let's go continue recruiting that. Yeah, those guys are not standing on there right now. It's, uh, it's just so much nicer being able to see everything. <laughs> Don't need to upgrade you yet either. Right, let's do this battle. And then that might be the end of this episode, guys. So, let's see. Yeah, not particularly strong. How are we? Yeah, we, we can, we're only going to be able to breach the wall in one place. <laughs> but that is the destiny of the Horse Archer stack. Unless you want to just siege them down. You know, you can just wait to siege them down. But why would you, why would you do that when you can... Uh, you do move a bit slower. So, I guess it's... It's weighing up. Because you've got infantry in your army, you move a bit slower, but... Victory uh, is here at hand. On my oh, yeah. At night as well. Cool. Yeah, because you uh, have infantry in your army, you do move slower. But... Um, you can siege down places in one turn. You know, especially when you get to large cities and it's like 10, 12 turns to siege them down. That's just crazy. That's not what you want to be doing. Um, where has the least amount of towers for a breach? Oh, here. This is excellent. Got a tower there and there. I think they will be able to shoot the horse archers if we walk in there, but we're going to try anyway. 
you guys. Yep, together. Cataphrax, you can go away. Didn't have anyone else coming, did they? I mean, I hope not. Uh, yeah, doesn't look like I've put any of their uh, soldiers towards the front. Oh, wait, here they are. We're going to get shot by the uh, tower. Let's go see whether we do get shot if we stand here. None of these guys have been shot yet. Who are they firing at? Oh no, they're running away anyway. Right, let's get over here if we can. I don't think that will be able to reach. It'd be nice for you to be able to see its range. They will They will start getting shot now. Oh, someone's just gone up in experience, that's excellent. You go back there. Oh no, we've got four. We really need to uh, create two armies out of these guys. Also, our Sakes has died well more than when I did my test run on this. And, <laughs> like, he survived, like, in my first test run, he, he died um, on the original Rome, not the remaster. He died in the first turn. <laughs> so, you know, uh, he seems to be doing all right. Honestly. What's that? Yeah, whatever. Starting to pick up experience on these guys now, so hugely important part of the game. Shoot that Eastern General. Your soldiers and the battling yeah, ram awesome. at the gates. Break them. And now comes the test of their courage. Don't think they're getting shot by the towers. Doesn't look like it. Don't like these guys are getting shot by the towers either, so that's good. Look, we're just going to sit here and use all our ammo because there's no point not to. This is how you've got to do the sieges with horse archers. Like, you, you, you can't go charging around the city because this, the pathing is too bad. Uh, oh, no, you decide not to come. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no. Oh, you are coming. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, go, you two. Oh, no. They go. They keep going a bit further, a little bit further every time. They only have one general, and he hasn't got much left. So I'm pretty sure we can just kill him with our generals. But this now, this is the mess. This is the problem. Getting them in. Like, look at that. Oh, it's, it's painful. You could do the most disgusting mass route if you charge them like there, just as they're entering the gate. <laughs> it would be horrible. <laughs> Thought we might have been able to reach, but I guess not. You guys go to the front. I want you to just run through and fire your things if you can. Not bothered about that. Um, and then you guys go there. I want everyone to be bothered about the generals running rather than my horse archers coming along. You guys charge. Well, now we have to kill everyone now because we're in the town center. Uh, yeah, let's get in there. Oh, 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 let's go. Get Kill the general and then everyone else will fall. Good, good, good. Um, you guys, get up there. Get away from those hillmen or whatever they are. Oh, they, oh, they are actual hillmen, yeah. Go, 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 get out of there. Get out of there. Now, the good thing about that is all those casualties we just took with our generals will get automatically recovered without us having to have any barracks or anything like that. There we are. Very nice. How many do we lose? 6%. Like 40. That's fine. 
the power of the horse archer. The power of the horse archer. So ridiculous. I don't even know what could you do to counter it. Now, when you're playing as a player, the AI doesn't do massive horse archer spams unless they're a massive Scythia. But even then, they don't. They'll still recruit infantry and stuff. Um, so no, looks like that's a city as well. Let's carry on with the enslavement. Because we should be able to... Why is that, this not trading? I guess it has a nowhere... That's trading with someone that we don't trade with. So I'm guessing that's going to switch next turn. It's just because we've just... Uh, it, yeah. So now it's a minor city as well. Awesome. And it has no roads. So roads is 100% the first thing we need. Um, can we give any of these guys extra experience? Doesn't look like it. They're too undamaged. <laughs> yeah. So let's train that. You can train Persian cavalry here. Um, I don't like running mixtures. Awaiting your command. Because the Persian cavalry have a different sort of uh, gap between the troops than the horse archers do, so it gets really messy. I wonder whether we could split this army up, though. If we just recruited another horse archer, we could have five and four. Mm, five and five horse archers and a, one cataphracts each, or something like that. Yeah, doing well. I'm guessing we have not done our building. Yeah, cool. We just did that battle first, didn't we? Um, Campus Sakai, what do we want? Probably a uh, reduction in corruption. That rhymed. Uh, yeah, nice. Prasper, we got the port. Let's go with that. And Katias, looks like we can only go for the walls. Um, uh, everywhere's building. Cool. Uh, where's that that's unhappy? Antioch. Is Antioch still unhappy after we just put the taxes down? Oh, 66%. Yeah. Hmm. It's like it's going to carry on. Carry on revolting. Um, maybe with those horse archers it won't. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, two big Egyptian armies over there. That's fine. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. So, thank you very much uh, for watching. Oh, we got the merchant. Let me just uh, let me just do that. Uh, also, Seleucia grows. Yeah. We'll build that after the blacksmith, because we need the blacksmith. Uh, the new merchant guy. Oh my god, why is he over here? They recruited him all the way over there. Uh, go with silver? I don't know. What does that do? It takes one turn for him to sort it, I think. Oh well, but thank you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I should hopefully see you again on the next episode.